What's going on, everybody? It's me, Dreeks. First things first, let me give a shout out to my newest subscribers and latest viewers Mr. Russell Morton, Aaron Blanchett, Ronald Harris, Tabatuan, Memphis Reigns, Royal Illness, True Said, True Said, Khaled Cambon, Young CPT. Fellstorm4705. This is East Live. Benjamin Yaisrael. Chris Dogan and Clovis Ahmed. To all of you, I bid a good morning, a great day, as well as a wonderful week. The Medellin trip will still be going on from November 8th to November 14th. For those of you who've been to Columbia previously, if you have any suggestions in which we may get to add to our itinerary, please feel free to leave comments in the comment sections for us. If you're going to be in Medellin or in Columbia or just traveling in that time frame in that country, feel free to hit me up at Facebook Messenger. And for those of you that want to go to Columbia with us, there's a WhatsApp channel ran by Richie Rich. Fellstorm 4705 as well as myself called World Travelers United join us and in advance we thank you for your suggestions speaking of Columbia I just want to tell some people that'll be going to Columbia with me that'll be going to Columbia on their own as well as going to Columbia in the future don't be a jackass while in Cartagena. Famed skater and jackass alumni, Bam Majera, 38, from California, was robbed at gunpoint not too long ago. He was robbed by Colombian Uber drivers. As of today, Bam Majera is worth $50 million. Even if you are in another country, Stop telling people where you are and you have money. Because you're going to get robbed. Don't do it. Don't do it for the gram. Don't do it for the gram. Don't do it for the vine. Don't do none of that shit. Just go and do what you're going to do wherever you're at and bring your ass home. They were going to kidnap the man. The man gave him $500 and he let the man go. To me, even though you got robbed, that is better than that bullet you're going to get in L.A. It's better than that bullet you're gonna get in New Orleans. It's better than that bullet you're gonna get uptown anywhere in America. On my account, and the robbery scene, you ain't get shit from me. I've got the bullet marks to prove it. You ain't get shit from me. So, we in the taxi, coming down that mountain on Medellin, trust me, all three of us were off the side of that fucking mountain before I give you more than what I'm supposed to give you. Before Bam went to Cartagena, he posted on Instagram that he would be in Cartagena. And obviously it didn't prove too well of a move for XXX Tentacion in this country. And now it's shown that it's not proven too well for Americans in other countries. Please stop putting your business on Facebook. Because all it's doing is getting you killed and robbed. Stay off the Instagram. Just go ahead on and do your recording. Get off the set and then post it. Myself, the first time I went to Columbia, I didn't say anything to anybody about going to Columbia until I came back from Columbia. All you're going to hear is a whole bunch of shit from people who never went to Columbia, don't plan on going to Columbia, tell you don't go to, become, to Columbia because of this. Don't go to Columbia because of that. When they can't tell you a reason personally. If they can't tell you a reason personally or not to go, then that's not the person you need to be listening to. You don't have to stunt. You don't have to wear your chains. You don't have to wear your fake grill. You don't have to uh, paint fake headlines at home. You don't have to do the fake Drake Bush mustache and goatee shit. You just have to be you. Keep your hygiene on point. Brush your teeth, brush your hair, wash your ass. That's all you need.
Don't bring up uh, North Coast. Don't bring up City of God. Don't bring up Scarface. None of that bullshit. Fuck around and end up with a Colombian necktie or some shit. There are no beaches in Medellin, so do not wear flip-flops. When I heard that from a Colombian woman, I did have the understanding that it does look crazy. And I understand I'm on vacation and I'm trying to dress as least as possible. And it's because it's hot than the motherfucker out there. Because you're closer to the equator and whatnot. But don't be out there all slouchy. Don't be out there with your no belt on, pants hanging off your ass, all your drawers out. I don't think they're really too, too much of fans of the thug culture. They like American black men, and they already look at American black men as commodities. When you step off that plane, they don't know whether you're a doctor, a football player, a rapper, or just some motherfucker with money. Like a Colombian woman told me, due to the fact that I had timeshares, I was looking at uh, uh, stuff from, from a real estate point of view. She practically gave me white man credit. So I asked, what the hell is white man's credit? Um, she pretty much said, since I was a black person that was coming to do more than have sex with people of a country, you get white man credit because they see you out here with a, uh, with a business undertone to your vacation. And I was like, okay, I understand that. And I asked, okay, what about if I wasn't here looking for timeshares on real estate tours. She said, oh, you just be a black dude with a big penis. And I was like, okay. Anyway, don't be a jackass when you're in the car hang. Let's, let's chill out on the stunt and let's go out there and have fun and look at our investments and look at everything that's gonna add to us in the future. Once again, this is Dreams. Don't be a jackass. Yeah.